Hi everyone, I am Chris and this is Simply Classic. Welcome to Designer Handbag Inspiration Episode 2. Today we're going to be focusing on handles and, or straps, let's just say straps and strap connectors and some of the things that I've seen that I think are very inspiring um, that we can kind of maybe class up our bags a little bit. So I'm going to be looking at my computer over here some so that I'm seeing what you're seeing. I'm going to go back and link these pictures when I'm done, but let's get right in. So a lot of people have been using or, or they have um, seatbelt webbing and webbing and, and that type of thing available right now for straps. And I think it's a great solution, especially if you don't have a walking foot machine or you don't have a walking foot attachment. It's a great way to get the straps done quickly. And there are so many different patterns and designs. And I mean, it is just amazing. Even Louis Vuitton is coming out with one. Now, theirs looks like a webbing, but it's really leather because, you know, they're Louis Vuitton. But they actually have their name printed on it. But um, in this first photo here, you'll see that this is a Consuela bag. And Consuela, of course, is very known, very much known for all their colors and they're a very colorful bag company. And if you look at this, what they did is instead of just attaching a swivel clip to the actual webbing piece, what they did was put a piece of leather on top of the strap end. So I'm assuming what they did here is they actually sewed the strap to the bag and then they put this little piece of leather over that to hide the end. So that's another way to attach your webbing to your bag and you know, just something a little different. Um, the second photo here is a Saks bag. Now it looks like a Consuela bag, but you know, the different houses are always copying each other and trying to um, make sure that they're not left out. But this is actually a Saks bag. Now, the way they did this is really different. They took a piece of leather. This is just some scrap faux, le faux uh, leather I have and they cut slits in it like this, okay? They sewed this onto the bag. They just top stitched around. Then they took a piece of webbing and they just slid it through back behind. Let me get it in here for you. Okay, they went back behind like this. And then they just pulled it enough that they were able to fold it back on itself. And they had cut obviously a V here and did a little top stitching on it so that it looked pretty. And then that's how it's attached to the bag. Okay. So it's easy. Y'all can do that. But that's a unique way of attaching something different. I'm sure there's more out there. If you see anything else that you want to share, post it on the Simply Classic Inspiration Group, and we would all love to see it and get inspired by it. And if you have a different way of doing it that you've done on a bag before, go ahead and share it. We want to see it, okay? So the second thing is, and this isn't totally new, but this is just um, another thought is to use grommets. So this bag here is a Spartina 449 bag. And you can see that they actually put a piece of leather or vinyl, I'm assuming it's leather, um, down on the bag. And then you kind of to reinforce that grommet and then actually put a grommet onto the bag. So instead of putting grommets on the sides of the bags, like a lot of us know, and have seen before, this is actually in the front of the bag, but I like the way they accented it and added that extra little piece around the grommet. Obviously it serves as an accent piece, but it also serves as extra reinforcement for it. Then what they did is they looped the strap back up on itself and then attached it with a rivet. 
and then just added that little um, slide connector or strap connector, strap keeper, I guess is what it's called, on there to kind of keep it down. I don't know if that's really necessary. Now this next photo you'll look at here is actually something I found in the store. I went to, um, I think I went to uh, Belk. I don't know, I know a lot of you probably don't have that store around where you are, but this was either a, I don't remember if it was a Dooney and Burke or a Brahmin, it was some kind of designer bag. And the grommets they use here are the oblong grommets. You see that? And they basically did the same thing as that Spartina 449 bag. They just took the strap and, you know, basically put it back on itself and then sewed it down and put a rivet on there. And you see the rivet there in the gold. It's kind of a, it almost looks like it's got a little more um, thickness to it than the kind of rivets that we're familiar with. But that's just something, something different, something I thought was pretty unique and I like that. So in this third photo, or actually this third design here, I've seen a lot of patterns come out now with the strap connectors, either an O-ring or a D-ring on the side of the bag. And this was kind of unique. Um, this isn't, I think this was sold at Overland. It says overland.com. But this is a way to just add a little bit of interest. Here's a base, a piece that I would use as the base. And I cut two half inch slots in there. You would take a half inch piece and I would double this up. I wouldn't just use one by itself. And I would slide one end in here. And then I'd put an O-ring or a D-ring on that. And then put this other end in this other side. Okay, so here, this would be attached to the bag, and here's what you would have. And you would probably have this come out just a little bit. Let's see. Okay, like that. So you would stitch, you would stitch here so that this back piece would be connected. You do that on each side before you connect it to the bag to make sure that this piece is nice and secure. Okay. And then you would, of course, go through and attach this whole thing to the side of the bag. Okay. Easy enough. Y'all can do this. Now, this next thing we're looking at is actually used with button and they call it a button connector. So I'm gonna show this to you first. So what it is, is a, I'm gonna put it way up here, here, okay? So it's almost like a Chicago screw, okay? You've got a screw on the back, and then you've got, it's almost like a, you have some space here, and then you've got a what they call a button at the top. So how you do this is you have this button um, cutter and you see it's got an extra little piece here. So when you actually use this die and you use it on your leather, it's cutting the hole, but it's also cutting this extra little strip right here. So that when you put the button in, it holds it nice and tight. You can get the button in um, because your hole should actually be just a little bit smaller than your button. But this extra little piece right here allows you to get the button in. Okay, so we're showing you all that for this next picture. This is a Louis Vuitton bag. And if you look here, you will see it's an adjustable strap, but they're using these buttons instead of 
the traditional adjustable strap. So it looks like they have a strap keeper. They took the strap, they put it around the strap keeper, grommeted it, or excuse me, riveted it to itself, and then they're actually using these buttons so that the strap slides open and slides closed. Thought that was very unique. Another um, bag that uses the buttons is this one here. And this is a Michael Kors bag. And look at the adjustment on there. It's actually, you can adjust it below the handle, below the strap. It's on the lower part of the bag. You see that they've got a um, hole, another hole there. Now this, this hole is a little bit different. This is more like an oblong hole. You probably have to put this, that strap or the um, connector sideways to get, the, to get it in. But um, you can actually make your, it's not hugely adjustable, but you can obviously add or take away from your strap, the length of your strap with just by adjusting that connector. This next one, and I think there's a few patterns out there that are already um, maybe have this kind of connector, but this is something, a bag that can kind of be intertwined between a shoulder bag or crossbody bag and a backpack. And the way that you do it is you have to attach your straps at the bottom, okay? the bottom of the bag or somewhere on the bag. But where you would typically put a strap, like a D-ring, some kind of strap connector on the sides, instead you have an O-ring or a D-ring that the straps can slide into so that you can take those two straps on the side of the bag, pull them out, and you can see in this next photo, it turns into a backpack. So as long as you've got a o-ring or d-ring that that strap can slide through easily you can adjust it between a backpack or a, and a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag it's got a lot of versatility this next photo is a bag that was sent to me by a subscriber and we're actually gonna do this bag in an inspiration video. I love the way you have that extra detail going through these strap connectors on the bag. I think that is so classy. I love this bag. The, I'm not sure how they're attached on the side. I don't have a photo of the side view so I don't know if the horizontal straps that are going all the way around the bag, I mean, they've got to be attached somehow, some way, not sure how. We're going to get creative when we make the bag and figure it out. But I think this is such a neat look here. That is a very cool bag. So keeping on the connector details, here is another bag that I thought was so cool. I just love the way that extra crisscross detail adds to the bag. And they just did it on the strap connectors. Now you see here they added, I guess there's a little rivet down the side of the bag. I mean, this bag's got a lot of detail, a lot of detail, but it's a way to take a solid fabric or a solid textile and class it up, jazz it up just a little bit, adding some details without adding a pattern. I think this is real pretty too. I like that. Might be easy to do. Now on this strap, this is a way to, and, and I'm not, Personally, I'm not super crazy about the way they attached the strap to the bag. I don't know how functional that is. To have it come in at an angle doesn't seem 
It doesn't seem like it'd be comfortable in your hand. I don't know. Maybe it would be. But my whole point in showing you this photo is the detail they actually did on the handle itself. So they obviously punched a bunch of holes and threaded some kind of um, strapping through that. And it almost looks like leaves. You know, it's not obviously a crisscross pattern. It's just like a V, a whole bunch of V's going, going on there. And I thought it was very pretty. I just don't know that I would attach it to the bag this way. But that is really interesting. This next photo is a Louis Vuitton again. And this is a really great way to go from a smaller connector to a larger handle. So a lot of times those thin handles are not super comfortable on your shoulder or on in your hand. So let's just say that these buckles, and you don't necessarily have to use a buckle, but let's just say you're, the way you're attaching it, either through a strap connector or whatever to your bag, is half inch. But you want the actual part that's going to be on your shoulder or in your hand to be an inch. So they actually cut a second piece here, and of course they rounded it. And then they layered another half inch piece on top of that and sewed it on. And then they just used, and this is probably a Chicago screw, I'm not really sure, or a rivet to attach it to the actual connector. So they just, um, I think it's a very cool way to add interest to a handle and to add those layers on there. This last photo, I had to look at it for a while to figure out exactly what they were doing here. This is a um, Montana West World bag. And what they did, there's a lot on this bag. I mean, this is a very busy bag. But let's ignore everything right now except for the straps. So the strap itself, if you look, is just sewn to the bag. Then what they did is they cut two pieces of extra leather and they rounded the edges and they added it on with rivets and then it looks like they top stitched it before they added it on. And have, they have that um, O-ring or oval ring there on the bag. But really, that does not provide any structure. I mean, the bag is not attached with that oval ring at all. That's just added onto the strap, almost like an afterthought or a second uh secondary thing it, again pretend this is our strap this is sewed onto the bag we have a little decorative rounded edge here then what they did is they took another piece smaller and they put a ring on they put this back on itself and when they did it they actually Obviously this would be double-sided, use your imagination, okay? And they stuck that on, sewed it on and riveted it on. Then they took a second piece and did the same thing. And riveted that on. So essentially what's happening is that the strap is sewn to the bag. This is just decorative, all this right here. And look at how easy it is to do. I mean, it really is simple. So I want you to take this inspiration, come up with some cool designs for your straps and your handles, post it on the Facebook page, Simply Classic Inspiration group page. And let's all get inspired 
by straps and strap connectors. So happy sewing.